Yep. And the next one is the Lee Park, sorry, Lee Road. Tennis court. <laughs> 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 uh, Lee Road tennis court conversion to car parking space, I guess. I'll oh, be shown. Uh, so, thanks to Ms. Bell, we'd like to introduce that one. Of course, members, if you bear in mind the written deputation you've received. Thank you, Chairman. Right. Um, since 2010, the Lee Road tennis courts have not been used for tennis due to them being sited under a row of trees which causes debris to fall on the eastern side of the court. During this time, the, um, the Park Lane vision has been transforming and members know how much work has taken place already in this area. New skate park, play area, gym equipment, etc. As part of the ongoing development of this project, a new all-weather multi-use sports area will be installed which will include new tennis provision. <coughs> there have been a number of complaints from residents in the Lee Road area regarding park equipment issues, especially when the popular Fair and Bowls Club have a match or host tournaments. In order to alleviate, to help alleviate these issues, it is proposed to convert 60% of the now redundant tennis courts into an extension to the Lee Road car park which provide an additional 25 parking bays, four of which would be designated disabled spaces. The four-hour parking restriction would still apply to these additional spaces. The remaining area of the tennis courts would be returned to grass and become part of the open space. The cost of these proposals are set out on page 12. Consultation for this change took place in November 2015 and set out on page 14, and the responses received are outlined. Fourteen members of the public were concerned about the loss of these tennis courts, which have been used as an off-the-lead area for dogs, and members will have received a written deputation from Mrs. Carol Massey, which I'll bring to your attention. I'm afraid I cannot support part of these tennis courts, tennis courts being treated for dog owners' use. A number of complaints have been received from local residents regarding noise from barking and alleged incidents, incidents of dog fighting, and therefore, due to the close proximity of residential properties to these tennis courts, I do not feel this is a suitable area for this type of activity. I would therefore ask members to support the recommendation as set out on page 11 of this report. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you very much. Has anybody got any comments on that? Okay. We agree to recommendation. Thank you. 